What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Hard Park 703 channel. So today it's gonna be a pretty quick video. Um, you know, I wanted to uh, accessorize the interior as much as I'm doing the exterior. So I figured buy a couple little pieces to dress up the interior. Um, nothing too big, but I think it's gonna be a nice little subtle difference. Um, so let's get to it. So I love the interior um, of this vehicle and I love especially the brushed aluminum accents, you know, that, it's it's always brushed aluminum has always been one of my favorite um like designs you know like like color schemes and so um it's the same thing in the corvette the corvette i left all the brushed aluminum around too instead of covering up with carbon fiber because uh, I, th I think it just looks really really nice um but yeah so a couple little things that i wanted to um pick up for this car um it's nothing crazy this this video isn't gonna be like an hour long or anything so what I want to do is I wanted to add a little bit of an accent to the infotainment um, knob, right? And so just cover this portion up. And then also I wanted to change out uh, these black pieces right here, right? So for backwards, forwards, and then the on button. Um, and then with regards to steering wheel, the, um, the paddle shifters are like, they look like non-existent and you like can't see them. You have to, <laughs> they're super small. Um, I guess they're just as small as the ones on the... Um, on the Corvette, but yeah, so I ended up going with um, legit aluminum ones, right? So they're not plastic, they're actually nice and weighted. Um, so they're aluminum, they're the same brushed um, aluminum color as this. So they match up pretty nicely. I already like kind of just like put them there just to see what they would look like. Um, so I'll show you in a second. But yeah, um, you could have gotten them in black, um, but had I gotten them in black, then that they'd be pretty big and then they'll just be it just won't flow well with this. So even though they just attach to the rear of this and you'll still see the black here, I still decided to go with the brushed aluminum because of the fact that it'll flow overall better with all the brushed aluminum accent in here as opposed to black. And then that flows with your knob. <laughs> so, all right, let's get to it. All right, so check this one out. Just a pretty cool little AMG badge that you can put right on top of there. So, okay, it's a little harder to pick up than I thought, all right, so technically, fit nicely, right, okay. so, right there, I just set it on top, and then obviously once you push it down, it'll, it'll fill it out better, but you get the gist of it, right, so, it'll be like that, which actually looks really, really nice, I wish it would have come like that, right, like, fits perfectly like it, it flows perfectly i'm saying so because if you remove it there you go it's kind of i mean i guess obviously this is matched to here but it would have been nice if this was all um brushed aluminum as well right like i get the rubber like that feels good and stuff like that but this wears away quickly so if it had if it was like stamped with sl that that'd be that'd be pretty cool actually you know what they might i wonder if someone does that I might have to look into that afterwards. But yeah, so, um, right there. I think the note, just make sure you wipe everything down that you're gonna work on and stuff with um, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. So you never want any like debris or anything like that to prevent like good adhesion, right? So just get yourself your blow dryer and uh, yeah, whatever. Don't question the color. <laughs> um, and yeah, so just heat up, just make sure you're gonna heat up the uh, the tape so then that way you get a better um adhesive backing to it yes of course you guys get it all right bye all right so lined it up pretty nicely i lined it up with that little tab right there focus right there and then right there so straight down the middle so looks really really good wow it's really nice so yep so now it looks like I mean, look, it looks like it should have, like it would have come on the interior, right? Like, that's really, really nice. And it fit perfectly too. So, yeah, just make sure, just, just make sure you heat it up. All right, let's move on to these right here. Boom, done. Check that out. That looks really good. And it's all functional and everything. Like, well, I don't want to push this button, but yeah, you can push it down and then... I didn't know, like the car's completely off, but apparently the radio just doesn't turn off at all. Like you just push the button and then the 
radio comes on. So anyways, yeah, fully functional and stuff. You can push these buttons though. Everything, everything's nice and stuck. So really, really nice. Matches pretty, pretty spot on. So see, just nice little subtle difference, but there's just so much uh, brushed aluminum in here. And like, even, even like right here and stuff, you know, like all over all around everywhere you look so just really happy with that gives it a more like premium feel all right so now onto these all right so here is the paddle sh well one of the paddle shifters um i'm gonna start with the uh right side one first so check it out it's pretty nicely crafted it's got good weight to it and everything um, so yeah, so it'll go like this, obviously, so it just goes in. The fit isn't amazing in the sense that, like, there's still a gap, as you can see, but at least, if you try to, if you try to position it, right, like with, with this right here lined up, it's not going to work, right? It's still going to be play, but if you position it with this right here, right? like this wedged up against right in here. Then there you go. Now there's no wiggle. There's no wiggle at all. So you just hold it there. I'm going to put the double sided tape right there and that's going to hold it in place. So then that way you can click right now. Obviously it's moving, but it's because it's not attached, but yeah, so you can just see there's a little, there's a not indentation like this is, so on the other side, it's concave. This is convex, right? So this is actually like a bubble right there. And then on this side, on, I don't even know if it's gonna come out, but on this side right here, it's concave. Can you see that? I, don't, I can't tell right now, the sun's in my face, but anyways, yeah. So you've got, you've got the indentation here. So yeah, so I'm just gonna put the double-sided tape in there. Um, the double-sided tape comes with two of them, right? Which they look pretty nicely cut. And they're cut along the edges, which will allow it to adhere better to the inside. And so yeah, so it's the same automotive um, quality that this one came with and this one came with. When I say automotive quality, it's like, the, it's that dark gray one that you can get um, that comes on the back of emblems for the outside of the vehicle. So it adheres better than the standard, like, um, what do you call it? Uh, the clear one that you can get, you know, the 3M clear one. So anyways, all right, going to get to this and then we'll put them on. Voila. All right. So that adhered pretty, pretty well. A lot of the reviews were saying that, oh, this thing is garbage. It falls off and everything. Um, but I'm pretty sure nobody heated up the tape like that that tape ha is like activated with heat so i mean it turned into like a putty when i um not 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 obviously like a, a droopy putty but it really really turned malleable and um not malleable malleable what are, you guys get what i'm saying it, it it's very very soft and so yeah um looks pretty good it fit up you know what i'm gonna turn the camera around. there we go now the camera's on the right hand side now i can actually get it further in here Yep, so. There we go. So yeah, it's it's on there. It's 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 on there. It's it's really it's stuck like it's like I it's like I yanked it this way. Like obviously, you know? So I yanked it along the let's see, can I get it further in? Whatever. You guys get what I'm saying. Like I yanked it on the, along the inside of it, right here where my fingers are. And so since I was yanking on it like this and then holding it, like pushing it up against the back, it, it, it adhered really well. So, so yeah, see, it's adhered along the, can you get it? There we go. It's a bit, is it focusing on that? Focus. All right, there we go. All right, cool. Now time to do the other side. Well, looks like it turned into multitasking because I have a meeting right now and I didn't finish yet. So it's 
kind of awkward. It's like I keep like muting myself or whatever. When it's my turn to speak, I like turn off the uh, the blow dryer and then like I'm not like cursing or anything like that or whatever. I'm like, yes, hi, how are you doing? Yes, absolutely. Uh, that was taken care of this morning, blah, blah, blah. And then, boop, and then I get right back to the. I think I just started meeting. So yeah, all done. So nice and nice and stiff, just like this one. So really nice. Yep. And luckily the symmetry is on point. So same amount of gap I'm saying on both sides, right? Like it would drive me nuts if like this one fit perfectly and then this one didn't. So it's got the same even gap all around. So yeah, looks good. match really really well the rest of the uh brushed aluminum interior like see look at all that it, it 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 matches almost like spot on so that's really nice came out right like just nice subtle difference so yeah i'm really really happy with everything that how everything turned out today so and not to mention i mean they're just it, luckily it's a solid fit like as in the the part that they cut out on them, it, it's nicely grooved, so it fit perfectly. There's no like flex in it, right? So even though there's still space around it because it's a big opening, at least the uh, the mold itself was spot on. So that's it's just it's really really nice. But yeah, like so, really nice steering wheel right there. You know, nothing nothing too crazy. Um, if it was like a different design or. I don't know if if the shade was off even more than yeah it would it just wouldn't flow right but I think this looks actually pretty pretty good so yeah I'm happy with everything that I did so that looks really good right and then center right there and what's nice is these are cut out so they'll still illuminate so the on and then this like when you obviously turn on the car and at night time when the lights are on and stuff it'll still be illuminated just like every other button instead of it being like cheap and then just being like a solid piece you know so that's really nice um and then yeah so there you go all right so i am done all i gotta do is just clean up the trash and tidy up a little bit but yeah um so that's it nice and simple real quick video so if you like that video go ahead and click that like button and subscribe and i will see you all really soon all right bye